Hello, this is the final presentation on barycentric coordinates, and we're going to just talk about the qualitatively visualizing the values of barycentric coordinates, in particular, noticing where the barycentric coordinates alpha, beta, gamma of a point u are either positive or negative. So let's draw our usual triangle. Here's x and z and y. Three non-collinear points, as always, forming the vertices of a triangle. And from the previous lecture, we had a vector mu beta that helps compute the barycentric coordinates of a point u by using a dot product. And in particular, we had beta is equal to u minus x dot mu beta. So of course, u is alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z as usual. And so we're looking at the coordinate on y. The mu beta is pointing up from the opposite edge towards y at perpendicular to the base x, z. So in particular, this means that for up this way, the beta values are all going to be greater than or equal to zero. In other words, if u is on the line containing x, z or above, beta will be greater than or equal to zero. For points u down below that line or on the line, beta will be less than or equal to zero. Uh, up here, we know that the barycentric coordinates for y, that is u equals y, are 0, 1, 0. So this is where beta equals 1 is this line here. And up this way, beta is greater than or equal to 1. So in this way, we can, this work for beta, but in this way, we can also do the same type of things for alpha and gamma. So let's try drawing this again. Take a snapshot. So here's our points x, y, and z. And so for things below the line x and z, we've got the beta is less than or equal to zero. That's anything below the line containing x and z. Similarly, for things on the other side of this dotted line, gamma is less than or equal to zero. We're opposite z. Gamma is the coefficient on z, and gamma is less than or equal to zero on the line x, y, and off to the upper left. And over here, alpha is less than or equal to zero. We're opposite x, and on the other side of the line containing y and z, alpha is less than or equal to zero. In these common areas here, we have that alpha and gamma are both less than or equal to zero, and beta is greater than or equal to one. Here we have alpha and beta are both less than or equal to zero, and gamma is greater than or equal to one. Here we've got beta and gamma are both less than or equal to zero, and alpha is greater than or equal to one. In this region here, alpha and beta are both in the interval 0, 1. In this region here, alpha and gamma are both in the interval 0, 1. And in this region here, beta and gamma are both in the interval 0, 1. So to understand this last part here, for instance, let's look at um, beta and gamma being both in the interval 0, 1. If we were on the line y, z with alpha equal to 0, beta and gamma would just control lerping along that line. And lerping along that line would start with beta equals 1 at y and end with gamma equals 1 at z. Remember, if alpha equals 0, beta plus gamma equals 1, just because alpha plus beta plus gamma equals 1. 
in the region inside here, alpha, beta, and gamma are all in the interval 0, 1 because they lie in the triangle. So this gives us a nice pictorial way to visualize what's happening with barycentric coordinates. Another way to think about this is, you know, the barycentric coordinates for this as alpha equals 0, beta equals 1, gamma equals 0. The barycentric coordinates for x are alpha equals 1, beta equals 0, gamma equals 0. The barycentric coordinates for z are alpha equals 0, beta equals 0, gamma equals 1. And if you keep these kind of principles in mind, this will let you estimate just approximately barycentric coordinates for points just by looking at where they lie on the triangle. So that's all there is for this presentation. Thank you very much.